Okay, uh, practice multiple allele question number one, page 16. So let's get right to the question. It says, indicate the phenotype of the following fruit flies. Uh, so we have a number of different genotypes that are represented and they just, in this question, wanna know what the phenotypes are. So just to talk a little bit, because we didn't have a video about multiple alleles, let's just add a little additional information in this. Multiple alleles is when there's more than one or more than two alleles to represent a particular trait. And in this case, the trait is fruit fly eye color. So when there's more than two, capital letters and small case letters don't work anymore. That doesn't work. That only works when there's two alleles to represent a particular trait. So it worked for seed shape. It was either round, capital R, or it was wrinkled, little r, right? So that was our previous one, right? So it was either this or it was this. Those were just the different alleles. This allele representing the round, this allele representing the recessive. So capital letter, recessive letter works well, but when there's multiple alleles, more than two of them, we have to find a different way to show uh, uh, nomenclature or notation. So in this particular one, they use its eye color, so it gets a capital E, and they use in this case, sometimes they use letters, but for eye color, they use numbers. And what they have here is E1, okay? E1, doesn't matter what the other allele is, this is going to be red, wild type red eye color. We'll just say red for our purpose here. Okay, E2, doesn't matter what the other one is, but it must, it can't be a one. It has to be something, either e, another E2 or something recessive to E2. That would be apricot. And I'm just going on information that I provided in, uh, I think it was page 15 of the notes. Okay, so this one and two, this is showing you the level of dominance, the hierarchy of dominance. One, of course, is dominant to two. 2 dominant to 3, 3 dominant to 4. So E3, now it could be E3, E3, that would be homozygous, or it could be something recessive to E3. So we put a line there to represent, it doesn't matter as long as it's not 2 or 1 because that would then supersede what the color is going to be. But if it was E3 or something recessive to it, that's going to be honey eye color. And the only way that I can have white eyes if both my alleles are E4, E4, because there's nothing recessive to E4. So that would be uh, my white eye color. Okay, so again, when I show these lines, you just have to know that it either could be a homozygous situation that creates, let's say in this case, honey, or something recessive to it. Okay, you can't have a dominant allele there because then it would not be that color. The dominant allele would mask the expression of that. So based on this, let's go take a look at this genotype now. And we see E2, E3. So E2, take a look at E2, apricot. E3 is recessive of, of that. That means that this is going to be a apricot phenotype. That's the eye color that that particular offspring with that genotype is going to have. E2, E2. Now, uh, sorry, E2, E3, we know that is kind of a heterozygous condition. Both those alleles are different, but 2 is dominant, so it will mask the expression of 3 and it will show apricot. E2, E2, again, that is apricot, but that is a pure or a homozygous apricot. Okay, now you don't have to put the hetero or homo, but we're just practicing our terms here. E1, E4, take a look at our legend here. E1, if as long as there's an E1, doesn't matter what the other allele is, this is going to be red. And of course, that would be a heterozygous. E3, E4, take a look at your E3. Uh, mask the expression of 4, but as long as there's an E3, it's going to be a honey. And this would be a heterozygous honey. And an E4, E4, well, that has to be a white. And of course, the only way that you can get white is if both your alleles are E4. So that would be a homozygous genotype. Okay, any questions on this? Multiple alleles? Uh, just give me an email and we can go over it. Thanks.